and welcome to my What Sold video. This is uh, for the time period of February 28th through March 9th, 2020. Welcome, my name is Trisha, and I am a part-time seller on eBay, Poshmark, and ThreadUp. And I'll be including all of my sales, all 19 of my sales for that time period. Um, and we'll go through each one and I'll give you a little bit of information on each item that sold. And at the end, I will run down my totals. So first up is uh, this item. This is a men's cycling jersey. Um, I didn't know how well this would do. This was um, given to me, so my cost of goods on this um, was nothing um, because I wasn't sure even how old this shirt was. It was from a Sea Otter Classic event that um, happened and I guess just never worn. Um, one thing with the cycling um, shirts that I think um, did this one well and I'll try to zoom in here on this picture you can see on the back of it it had these three pockets which I believe they keep their water and stuff in so I think that part makes it very highly desirable I did end up taking a best offer on this item for 19 or seventeen dollars and ninety nine cents um, and again my cost of goods was nothing on this item and uh, up next next item that I sold is this um, 1975 Holly Hobby plate I took a best offer of five dollars on this one because I realized this is a this was a very small plate I believe this was like a five inch plate um, not one of the bigger plates um, that I I also have listed I think for $9.99 this is part of my mom's um, Holly Hobby collection that she just doesn't have room for anymore and um, has decided to part with it and so we have a whole bunch of Holly Hobby items for sale and I do have a um, kind of a haul video on my site if you would like on my YouTube channel if you would like to see all of the Holly Hobby items um, that we have and I also have those all in the my eBay store under um, Sandy Auto yeah Sandy Auto might also be able to find it as Sandy and Auto um, in there and so this one I again took a best offer of five dollars on this one um, next up is this Disney Park uh, Minnie Mouse top. It was a size medium, a uh, women's size medium. And on this one, I took a best offer of $13. Um, I also want to mention on all of my eBay items, I do have them at a 2% um, promoted listing. And um, as I'm looking at my notes, I do see that two of my items, and I will point those out, did sell through the um, promoted listings. Uh, this was one of them. Um, so again, don't know if that helps, don't know if it doesn't help, but right now I'm trying out kind of experimenting with having that at the 2% and seeing um, how it does. And again, uh, best offer on this one for $13. My cost, um, I did pay a little more than I usually do pay, which was about $4.80 on this one because it was a Disney Parks um, top I thought it would have a little more interest in it it did seem to have a lot of hits on it just really wasn't getting any takers so when I got an offer I went ahead and took it um, this one I'm not even sure how if this is Zanzia and I wasn't really even sure if it was a dress or a top it was a very it was either a very long top or a kind of short dress because it did have slits, a little bit of slits up the side. Probably would be really cute with leggings 
um, and a belt, that type of, of top. Um, but it was, it was very silky soft, um, really nice. Um, I had no cost into this item, and I did take a best offer of $10 on it. Uh, next up is this Ruby Road. This is, was a 1X size, um, really nice, kind of on the thicker side. Um, which would be really good for climates that are, um, you know, have a, I guess, a colder winter into spring transition, because uh, it definitely has the pretty spring colors in it, but when you need just a little more warmth, um, this top would be perfect for that. And um, this one I took a best offer of $10.25. This one, again, I have that $4.80 kind of cost of goods. I picked this. Ironically, I picked this up at the same time as the Minnie Mouse. It's very strange when you pick up items and they end up selling at the same time. Um, I just thought that was kind of strange. But yeah, um, would have liked to have gotten a little more um, out of that because it was a very desirable size and a really pretty print. But um, but I'm sure it is off to a good home. Uh, next up are these um, Venezia, which is a, I guess, a Lane Bryant brand. I'm not as familiar with Venezia, um, seeing that. Um, so it, it was kind of new to me. I'm, I've seen them now. They're kind of everywhere, but that was kind of new to me. Um, this was a size 24, um, really nice thick um, denim shorts. And I, I don't know how everybody else has been doing with selling shorts, but I have been consistently selling shorts all winter long. It's been great. I think I have sold more shorts than pants all winter long, which is very interesting. Um, but, uh, oops, but I am happy to do it. Um, these I took a best offer of $12.99 because the shipping was higher on these um, because of them being very, very thick denim. They did have a lot of weight to them, even though they were shorts. Um, my cost was a $1.97 on these. And, uh, and yeah, um, love selling shorts in the winter. It's great. Um, this top, this was very interesting top. Um, again, I, I um, got this to sell at no cost to me, um, but this was very unusual sizing and I knew it would take a very specific person looking for this because it was a very small men's um, sized shirt and it was even smaller because it's the extreme slim fit. Um, so I knew when the right person came um, that, um, that you know, it would be a great match. And so on this one, I did take a best offer of $10 on this one um, because, again, it's got to be just the right person for this um, very small, slender-sized dress shirt. And... Uh, and I am sure that uh, it's going off to a good home. Um, and the one thing I could not figure out with this shirt also that was kind of throwing me, and you can kind of see it in the picture, is the very last button here was sewn on with red thread. And it does not look like it was, oh, it came off and the previous owner <laughs> sewed it on with red thread. It looked like it had been factory sewn that way. So I have to say it kind of threw me a bit and I did end up mentioning it um, here in the conditions just because I wanted to be to alert them. I don't know if that's something that Calvin Klein does or if that's in fact a really good re -sewn on job of the button, but I thought that was just kind of an interesting fact about this Calvin Klein shirt. Um, up next is another pair of shorts. Um, these Abercrombie and Fitch. Uh, these are low rise um, khaki shorts. I have sold these um, shorts in a size two before. 
Um, they're a great short. They are incredibly popular. Um, I get a lot of interest in these when I have them listed, and they sell pretty quickly. Um, so um, don't be afraid of low-rise shorts. They are still extremely popular, and even in winter, they are very popular. I ended up taking a best offer on these of $13.49. My cost was $1.97 on these, and again, it's a really solid, quick sale, and um, you're not going to get rich off of them, but it's a very consistent um, sale. They're very, very popular shorts. Um, this item, there was just no way for me to take a picture um, to do this skirt justice. This was just gorgeous, gorgeous skirt. It was pink. It had a um, like a cottony kind of lining and a mesh lining and it just sparkled gold and I tried to <laughs> capture some of the um, some of the the prettiness of the in this one you can see a little more of the on the top part here the shimmering of the gold but it was so pretty so so pretty i loved this skirt um, girls um, skirt size large and on this one um, it did sell for the um, 10 percent off price sale i had a 10 percent off sale running on the store and it did sell for $13.49 and this one sold through the promoted listings. Um, so that was the extra 2% um, fee um, for that but uh, again that was probably worth it. Um, jumped it up to kind of the front of the line for um, the person who was looking for this skirt and so I hope that the um, young lady who will be wearing that loves it because it is beautiful. Uh, last up for my eBay sales is this really kind of fun throwback retro style of um, suit jacket. Um, really pretty mustard color. It had a very nice textury um, look to it. Kind of hard to tell. There's a better shot of the texture of it. Really fun with the big buttons on there and this one I took a best offer of $14 on this one um, it did have a little bit of did I get that yeah a little bit of like somebody had been wearing bangly bracelets on the inside of the sleeves and kind of snagged them up a bit but since they were on the inside and you really wouldn't be able to see them it really didn't harm the overall jacket so when I got the best offer of $14 I was happy to take that and I did note um, that there was damage to the inside lining of the sleeves um, and took the pictures of it so that people could see that um, prior to purchasing and so that's my 10 eBay sales for that time period. Uh, two Poshmark sales. One were these Dansko mules. Um, they were a harder sell being a size 6. And uh, let's see. Um, oh, I forgot to say on the mustard jacket. Um, that one was actually, I had... Um, purchased that a while ago, worn it a few times, and then decided that I was kind of done wearing it and um, found a new home for that. So my cost on that one, I don't know. I really didn't pay that much because that was a thrifting find for me also. Um, so I like how we can buy things thrifting and sell them again through thrifting. It's it's a great way um, to just keep passing along great clothing. Um, but back to this Poshmark sale for these um, mules. I'm looking at my notes and I believe, yes, I did take a, um, I took the $15 best offer. My cost on these was $1.97. 
and then a men's tie. Uh, this was a solid purple um, Michael Michael Kors tie. Right down here is the label on that one. And I took a $13 best offer on that. And I'm looking to see if, and I don't believe on either of these, no. Um, these came as to as offers to me, so I did not have to send out offers to Likers with the um, shipping discount. So no shipping discount on either of those items. Um, and then on to Thread Up, um, which is still kind of new to me. And I've been kind of documenting my journey through selling Thread Up. Um, I have a collection of um, videos on YouTube about my journey so far selling through Thread Up. So I've been waiting until I have been actually paid by Thread Up before I include them in my What Sold. Um, videos. But I'll go through kind of the two different ways that um, you can sell through Thread Up. One of the ways, um, which is here, which you can see right in the middle of the screen here where it says sold in a goodie box. So Thread Up is actively going through um, those of us that submit clothing and looking for items that they can include in their goodie boxes. Um, so it's really fun when one of your items is selected to go into a goodie box. And it also cuts down on the amount of time it takes in order for you to get paid. Um, I have found that for the most part, um, I think depending on how busy they are, it can take, um, you know, one or two days for an item to be kind of reserved and go through the sold process for you to get paid for it. I have, I have seen, um, it can take up to five or six days for that whole process to go through, um, but it usually is that week or less time period for it to get um, tagged for um, sale in a goodie box for the sold process to go through and for you to actually receive the money which is a lot nicer <laughs> um, a lot nicer time frame wise than when a customer sells um, so this one was it sold for the um, $51.99 um, price which means I ended up getting, as I look at my notes, um, I ended up getting $16.23 um, for the sale. And again, depending on what this price is, you get a percentage of that price in order um, for your sold items. So $51.99 equals $16.23. And that's standard across. No matter what item sells for $51.99, jeans, coat, um, you will get $16.23. However, you don't really have to do anything other than sending it to them. So, you know, I figure right now in kind of experimenting around, it's kind of worth the fact that I don't have to warehouse it. I don't have to photograph it. I don't have to list it. I don't have to ship it. I don't have to do any of that. I just get paid for it. I just stick it in an envelope, send it to thread up. They do all of that. And then they send me the money. So, so far, I, you know, it, it's working out fairly well. Now, again, I haven't gone through the whole process of uh, my first bag is still about 20 days away from going through the full cycle. So, again, I will be um, documenting more of that journey as that um, portion of it gets um, close to being done. Now, this Talbot's um, skirt sold to a customer. So when it sells to a customer, it will take 
um, thread up, I would say up to a week to um, process to ship it out, plus a week um, for that item to be received. Then there's the two week period um, where the customer can return an item. So you are looking at a potential three to four week period before you get paid for an item. Uh, so that's one thing to take into consideration when you're going to send things to ThreadUp. Um, this item sold for $47.99, which was um, the maximum price that I could um, bump it up to, being that it was 20% off the retail price. Uh, and my portion that I got was $13.92. Now on both of, of the um, peach jacket that I showed you before and the skirt, my cost was um, nothing on these. Um, these were items that I um, was given to to sell. Um, you know, it's either, you know, try selling it. Things that I don't end up selling, um, they do either go to closed giveaways or, um, or I will take them to Goodwill um, to be recycled again. Um, so they do, if I don't sell them or, or I'm able to sell them, then I do forward um, clothing on. Uh, this is another one, this J. Jill, um, that sold in a goodie box. So that's um, two brands right there, um, Torrid and J. Jill. Um, most likely, if you're going to send an item in and it's one of those brands, um, keep in mind, those are very popular brands for goodie boxes, and your items may end up moving quickly because they're purchased for goodie boxes and you'll get paid for them right away. Um, again, this one sold for $51.99, so my portion was $16.23. Uh, these, again, I had no cost of goods on these, so that helped keep my cost down for this item. Um, next item that sold, this was a new tag item. This is Kate Kaysen. Um, you can see it had 23 likes. It, ha it was um, being looked at very actively. Um, unfortunately, um, it only went in with a maximum price of $45, so I could only price it as high as $35.99, which was unfortunate because I ended up paying $6 for this item because it was new with tags, and I only got $8.28 for it when it sold. So this one was not a very good example. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and move on on that one because the next one was also not a very good example. Um, this was a really cute top. My cost was $1.97 on this one. Um, but again, I could only mark it up to $18.99, which meant that my percentage out of it was only $2.70. Um, so that was very unfortunate. It ended up selling in a goodie box. I mean, why wouldn't it? It's adorable and, um, and it's a low cost for thread up to throw it into a goodie box. So those two brands I will not be sending to thread up again because they just don't um, have a high enough start price in order to kind of justify the percentage that ThreadUp takes out of it. Um, next up are these um, new tag Prana jeans. Um, these had some really cute details on them. You can see the little um, kind of ribbing there and some other interesting bits. Um, I'll show the back real quick. Um, had some of that um, detailing on the pockets. These were new. Um, I did pay up for these. Um, I did pay $10 for these, but they did sell for $70.99. Um, they were around for a little bit to get some favorite 
um, markings on them. And so my um, percentage out was $30.25. Um, would these have sold on eBay or Poshmark new with tags for $70.99? I don't know. I Conceivably, I could have made $30.25 by the time you have the price and, um, and take out the fees and everything. Um, $30.25 is kind of realistic. The nice thing again is I didn't have to photograph them, I didn't have to list them, I didn't have to ship them. Um, and I saved for last my best sale. Um, so I was very excited when I found these Tory Burch Nuitag jeans. And I did um, pay up for them. Um, I paid $17.50 for them because I felt that they were worth it. Um, size 29, which is a fantastic size, um, new with tags. They were a great style. They had, um, they were the dark wash. They had a great flared leg. They just had it all going on for them. Um, I could list them for a maximum price of $147.99, which I did, and they instantly, I mean, as someone was watching for them, um, and as soon as they went live on ThreadUp's website, somebody snatched them, put them in their cart, and boom, they were gone. They sold so fast. Uh, it was great. Um, I'm sure whoever got them absolutely loves them uh, because again, these were fantastic jeans. I'll show the back real quick. Had the cute little um, logo on the pocket. I, you know, they were just absolutely adorable um, jeans. And so my portion of these was a hundred and three dollars and one cent, which <laughs> I love that and a penny. Um, so that was definitely worth it, um, worth sending that in. I don't think new with tags on the um, Poshmark or eBay format. I don't think I would have, minus my taxes and fees and everything, been able to make $103 off the sale of these jeans. And again, I didn't have to photograph them, didn't have to list them didn't have to ship them, didn't have to do any of that um, to it. So that was a great, great um, sale. Um, so to give you the numbers really quick on these, my total sales, again, this is from February 28th through March 9th. My sales were $338.83. My cost of goods was $54.37. My fees were $33.39. And my profit with the way eBay calculates shipping, um, there are times when I do end up getting a dollar or so out of that. So it throws my profit just a little bit higher. Uh, so my profit for this time period was $271.41, and um, that's about it. I'm going to wrap this up, and thank you for sticking with me through all of this. And if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave those behind. If you like this kind of content and um, would like to get notified of the next time I post a What Sold video or other information on ThreadUp or anything else I, that I have going on, please um, consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video on your way out. And thank you for watching and I will see you next time.